Hello. I'd like to share a couple paper bag scrapbook journals that I made. They're both done in shades of pink. Very similar, but slightly different on some of the images and the papers. They both have a piece of applique that's been coffee dyed and a paper flower and an image that's layered with different papers underneath. Open up and there are tags inside the pocket here made by the paper bag fold. They both have images on the front and can be written on on the back. And this pretty bird I just happen to be in love with because this bird spent a couple days trying to get in my front window. And after about three days, I guess he thought better of it. But in the meanwhile, I got a couple cute pictures of it and I thought I would include that in here. This image is layered with a paper doily and a little bit of lace. A pocket here. A playing card with a flower on it. Another journaling spot. A little bit of stamping. Some coffee dyed papers. Some more stamping. A pocket. Another style of playing card that has some botanicals and a butterfly image on it. A little bit of stamping on the back coffee stained paper you can write on and I love this paper. This had um, some fibers and some flower petals pressed into it. A little bit of lace trim. More coffee stained papers. This is a piece of vintage lace. This flips out for journaling. The center of the signature. A little bit of detail work on the sewing machine tips out for writing. Another pocket here, and this has a paper clip decorated with some ribbon and pulls off. And this pretty piece of paper can be written on. I love these mason jars. They are so pretty. And you can write on the back. Another pocket. This one has a fold out with some stamping. Good for journaling. And this pretty pink and gold paper. Good for journaling, or you can attach some photos to that. And the back pocket has another little bit of a tuck spot. Some more space for journaling. This pretty paper has some glimmer mist sprayed on the surface, so it has a little bit of a shine to it. And paper on the back. The second one, and both are tied with a pretty pink ribbon. Same coffee dyed applique, paper flower, a little bit of lace layered underneath the pink rose. Open up the paper bag, another pocket with a journaling card right on the back. A die cut butterfly. And this I particularly love because I remember that has been around since I was a kid. So we're talking about 50 years at least that my grandmother had that in her sewing stash. And I saved a couple of those but decided to put one in this journal. And a little bit of sewing machine stitching here. And again this is that paper that has the fibers and the flower petals pressed into it. And this flips out for writing. Another piece of antique lace. More space for writing with a little bit of stamping. Pretty detail here. And this pocket 
has attached another decorated paper clip that is holding another mason jar. Got to have those. And inside the pocket, an envelope that you can add a photograph. Another pocket, another journaling card, another pocket with a tuck spot here. In the pocket is a tag that says hope. And in this tuck spot, a pretty envelope with another writing space. Another pocket, a little bit of tool added here that's sewn on, and a paper flower on top. Two journaling spaces. This one has its own pocket with a mini tag. Another tuck spot. And the back page has another pocket with another mason jar. Some of that pretty pink and gold paper that you can write on. Several pages of that. And another pretty pink paper that you can write on the inside. Paper on the back. These are great for gifts. I mean, I can't imagine somebody wouldn't smile to open one of these for gifts. And Mother's Day is not that far around the corner. If you want to give one to your mom or a sister or a best friend, stop over at the Etsy shop. Take a look and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.